Today I'm going to show you how to resolve two common errors that you will encounter when modeling with Open Studio and SketchUp. Let's reload the model. And you'll notice that there are two errors that pop up. Uh, it says that the subsurface is not contained by its base surface. It cannot be drawn. It's face 65 and face 69. So let's remember what those are called. And we will go to the search surfaces filter tool at the top. And we will search for it, face 65, I'm going to drag this out of the way so you can see, and it looks like there's nothing there. I will unhide it, and I will search again. And it looks like there's nothing there. So this is an orphaned piece of geometry. Somehow it's left over from an artifact of editing the model. And it's still located in, inside the OSM file, but it's not actually part of the model. So for this, we need to go to we need to go to the project file folder and I'm sorry if you go to the OSM file and edit it with uh, a text editor and search for that object face 65 and you can see that it shows up in our OSM file, but it's actually not showing up in the in SketchUp. So this is an orphaned piece of geometry that we can delete from the OSM file. Let's do the same thing for the other object, face 69. And we will delete this from the OSM file as well. and save it. Close the text editor and we will, yes, we will reload the model. And there you can see that it resolved those errors. Another issue I will show you is boundary conditions. You want to go up to the filter tool and render by boundary to condition at the top right here. Click it. This shows you the boundary conditions of the surfaces. We'll use a section plane to take a look at it. And you can see that on the section plane, most of these interior surfaces are green. That means they've got an associated other surface that they are connected to. We will edit this space, and you can see that this, spa this surface is green. And if you if you edit the, the adjacent space, you can also see that this is green. Let's take a look at the inspector tool at the top. And we'll try to minimize this. And let's edit this space, and we'll select this surface. This surface is called face 84 and you can see that its outside boundary condition is the object is face 41. So if we edit the adjacent surface, you can see that that adjacent surface is face 84. And this is face 41. So let's go ahead and take a look at these surfaces. You can see that this interior surface is blue and so is this interior surface. And these are two different spaces. Let's take a look at this space here, Office 112. 
you can see that the surface name is base 89, but it doesn't have a boundary condition object. It's blank. So let's remember that, face 89. If we edit the adjacent space, the shower room, and edit this surface, face 28, you can also see that it doesn't have a boundary condition here. Let's drop down this menu and search for face 89. select face 89. You can see that it automatically turns green to show that it is now connected to the adjacent room, face 89. Face 89 is also linked to face 28. Likewise, you will note that we also have interior doors and interior windows. We will also have to link those interior doors and windows to adjacent boundary conditions. This is face 89, face 90, excuse me. So we need to link this object to face 90. Now you can see that the interior door is, is linked to the adjacent space. And that's how you resolve those two issues. Thank you. Please like and subscribe.